G'day YouTube! What the fuck is going on? Friday afternoon, sun setting, thirsty as fuck for a beer. Thought I might as well chuck the camera on. Let's have a random ride. got a beautiful sunset in front of me I got a beer fridge full of cold tins and I've got Saturday off <laughs> Yee! this Sunday we've got the Sun City dealer ride to Guru Pub so that should be pretty cool I've been getting a little bit of interaction from a couple of the local guys that, that want to meet up and have a beer and so that should be pretty good looking forward to that I'm still up in an iron whether I'm going to go to that Freedom Turnout exhaust. I do like the look of it. It's sort of growing on me a bit more now, but, um, you know, I've backed out two into one exhaust my whole life, so what sort of a dickhead am I going to look like if I end up putting one on? But Disclosure right now, I, I probably will at some stage, but only for power gains. Let that be known. So I'll chuck up a bit of footage here guys, you can have a look. There was a uh, Nissan Skyline that wanted to have a bit of a go today, so I thought, ah, buckets Friday, why not? Let's have a bit of a lap. So when we come around the corner, I'll, I'll explain all this here before I put the footage up. So when we come around the corner, I thought we were just going to get straight into it, but you know, turbo cars have got to build their boost and spool that shit up and all the rest of it. Yeah, so then we... I backed off and he was upper and then I rolled it on, hit the limiter, so I think there was a couple of limiter bounces there. wonder if there's... I wonder if there's like a shift light you can get when I get all fucking wound up and emotional and full of adrenaline. I don't think emotional is the right word for that actually. But when I get all um, wound up and excited when I'm when I'm racing someone or you know doing any sort of cool shit like that, my my eyes just roll back in my head and I'm fucking gone. So I reckon a shift light just before red line on a bike would be fucking awesome for me. Dyna versus Skyline, let's go. Poppin' gets a panties dropping. Gotcha. Does anyone have like a link or uh, you know an idea of where I could get one of them? I need that shit of my life. I don't think I've actually seen a shift light on a bike ever. Well. I'm sure drag bikes would have them, but that's because they race. But that's a legitimate question for you guys. Does anyone know where I can get a shift light for this? Because I'm extremely shit at timing my gear changes when I'm all flustered and fucking excited. As soon as I hit the limiter, it fucking ooh, bogs down and I'm fucked. So there you go, I suppose that is a topic. Let's um, let's talk about racing fucking Harley Davidsons. My mate Dan the Harley man 
the tech at Sun City Harley, he is the rider for their drag bikes and they've got two, they've got the um, V-Rod and they've got the Dyna drag bike. You've seen photos of that before from the Dyna Day video. It's got that 120R in it. But their V-Rod makes fucking stupid horsepower. But anyway, I'll have to ask him if they have a shift load or whether he's just better at riding than me. But that wouldn't be too fucking hard. But there you go. Do you use race bikes? Do you have a fucking shift light? Is there a way that, apart from natural riding ability, that you know when to change gears at the right time? If I'm not racing someone or focused on other things, well, I can pick it pretty well. But And I do have this um, digital taco up here but I don't fucking look at it that's mainly for pure wank factor let's be honest alright guys so the traffic sucks I've thrown the question out there it's a bit of a random ride vlog video so we'll leave this one there hopefully I get some responses and can sort this fucking little dilemma I've got Alright guys, give it that one, or that one, needs to be a button for this one, headbutt subscribe and I'll catch you later, eh? See ya!